afternoon everybody. I'm Sarah and I research sarcoid tumours in donkeys. These are important to study because they occur worldwide and they affect a lot of animals, um, affect about 5% of donkeys. As you can see from the picture on the left, these skin tumours can cause welfare problems for individual animals and they can also cause problems for the owners because if the animals need uh, time off um, for treatment then there's economic consequences of that. These tumours are actually caused by a virus, so it's a virus from the same family that causes cervical cancer in humans. Um, the virus is actually a cattle virus, but it's able to jump across the species barrier and infect donkeys and cause this problem. But traditionally we thought that the, don that the virus does not circulate amongst donkeys and that the donkey is a dead end for the virus. So my project aimed to find what increases the risk of animals getting uh, this disease and I work with the Donkey Sanctuary UK down in England uh, for this. So I found that uh, males and young animals under five years were the highest risk group. We also found that if a donkey shares a field with another animal that's diagnosed with the tumours, it's then more likely to get a tumour itself. So we then looked into the, the social behaviour of the donkeys, which involved me sitting at the edge of a field watching donkeys for a few weeks, which was quite nice. Um, so you get the occasional donkey that's solitary and just toddles around uh, doing its own thing, but the vast majority of them like to be social. So most of them spend at least 80% of their time standing very close to another donkey. Not only are they generally social, but um, about half of them have a, a best friend. So this graph shows how Archie spent his time and you can see 70% of the time he was standing next to his best pal called Bandit um, and he spent a negligible amount of time with everybody else. The final risk factor that we found uh, for the development of these tumours was that if a donkey's friend has a sarcoid, it is more likely to get a sarcoid and if a donkey's friend is sarcoid free, it is less likely to get one. So the fact that close contact is a risk factor over and above just sharing the same environment then inclines us to think that there is indeed donkey to donkey transmission of the tumours. So this led us to um, be able to make some recommendations to the donkey sanctuary. So we recommended that where possible they separate donkeys that have been diagnosed with these tumours from their, their unaffected donkeys. Uh, now if you separate uh, donkeys from their friends, they tend to get quite upset and stressed. Um, so in that situation, we just recommend monitoring the, the friends closely because if they develop a tumour, obviously the sooner it's, it's treated, the better, with a better outcome. Thank you. Thank you.